back to the channel. Really quick video on IG6. Uh, I think it's around $50 million for this company. It's not a great price. Uh, but it is decent. It could fall further. But the business is in Australia. And it's probably going to get backed by the Australian government. And they're getting the graphite out of the mine. And then they're processing it themselves. So next company to look at RNU everything's down today we know everything's going back down who knows where we'll pull up RNU 300 so it's a 6x for that and similar companies maybe RNU's got has to truck it a bit less but then they have to ship it a bit more I don't know so rough figures 100,000 tons at a thousand dollars a tons hundred million dollars a year I'd say they do half that 50 million dollars a year you can buy the company for 50 million so it sort of makes sense so if you didn't know they get the graphite out of the ground and two tons of natural in the ground makes one ton of this spurinized graphite SPG and I know they do that for two thousand dollars a ton and sell it for three thousand a ton and if the price booms, that could go to 5,000. And that's probably when you sell. When it goes up high, it's not going to get sustained. But people do the mass and get a bit stupid saying it's going to be like that forever. And it crashes down. So when the price is high, it's probably when you sell it. Um, unless there's going to be some crazy news that you know is going to make it go even higher. Or the company is going to go even higher somehow. It's probably when you sell the company. And when you sell the company... You probably want to have held it for one year to get the capital gains tax, 50% deduction. Why is why you'd buy now when this market's dying? There's no news. Graphite is not hyped. So you my thoughts you buy now, in a year's time or more, the graphite boom comes, you sell out, you get 50% capital gains tax, and you do it again. I could be wrong, but IG6 is good. They're gonna get the government grant. Um, so they get it, they got the mine, they own the mine, and they own the technology, or well, they're doing the technology now to process it and stuff that goes into the battery, which is where the growth is coming from. So the government's going to give them a loan, the government gave RNU a loan, so most likely they'll get a loan as well. Um, so decent price, it's not like a crazy good price, but decent, I'd say and if it goes 30 million probably load the boat so if this crash is you don't know where the market's going but if the, the crash goes even further and this gets around 30 million i'd probably be buying a bit more of it myself personally so decent price not great um like but this could be Right now, if you look back at this video in a year, this could be very cheap. It could be three hundred million dollar company. We don't know, but decent price, not great, I'd say. But it depends what you think is decent and great. Um, and then just a lesson to learn: you buy it here. I bought Navonix at five hundred million dollars because they're going to make five hundred million dollars a year off the synthetic graphite. And then they got to here, which was like where I'd expected them to get. And then I was selling up on the way here because it was getting ridiculous. And then this day, it crashed. I got freaked out and sold everything. Lucky I did. Because it was ridiculously priced. So you know what the company does. And when it's ridiculous, like if it gets like pretty crazy high for what they're going to do, sell out a bit. I was just selling out a bit and sold everything here. Got pretty lucky actually to sell out on this and even 1.7 billion it's still it's not just a no-brainer so i think you want to buy no-brainers and sell them when they get above above a reasonable price of if it's a bit expensive you could sell out a bit and if it gets ridiculous sell it all out my opinion Um, also thought these guys were ridiculous and a bit of the market crashes have them come down but I don't know if they can do what they say they're going to do they'll make money 
I don't think they can say what they're going to do, to be honest. Just my opinion. Don't get, like, if you want to argue in the comments that Lake Resources is so good, go ahead. Like, you're, you're correct. You're correct. And that's it for this video. So buy low, sell high. Wait, buying low is when the market is dead. Like, the market was dead on rent score. And if you knew that they were going to have a good future, bought here, you would have lost half your money here. And then you would have gone like, this is one day at a time, and each day you wake up, oh, no. But then one day you wake up, bam. And then you don't respect the gains, and then you lose them. So anyway, buy low, be prepared to wait a while, get those capital gain stacks, and sell high. Uh, so is rent score high? I think it can go higher, but it's not a no-brainer for it to go higher. But it could still go higher. Um... You got to do the mass, like you just got to do the mass. But here it was more a no-brainer. If you understood what was the company was doing, um, and then we got TSXB GM, which is six million. They got three million cash. They've done about six million in drilling, so you get them for less in drilling and the cash. And. They got a really high grade, they just got to drill it out more, which will grow the company. And it doesn't take much to double a $6 million company. And if graphite goes a bit nuts when it could have done here, that's like a 4x. Buy low, sell high. So some companies don't even have to get into production. The market just has to go, wow, graphite's really expensive, these guys have some. Let's buy them, they go a bit silly. And bam. So, I don't know what happened here, but sell on news. If there's news comes, don't buy on good news. Unless you know like the company's gonna go even further from there. And that's it for me in this video.